have to pinpoint one technology, I would say I'm really excited about how heat pump technology has come along. I'm really excited about a lot of novelties now I see in the heat pump technology, including this integrated heat pump with uh, phase change material for energy storage, especially about cold climate heat pump. It's really from a heat transport perspective, really difficult to harvest that much energy from cold environment and people have done an amazing job there. I'm also very excited about smart building technology, including all the new sensors we are now able to deploy in buildings. I'm excited about incorporating machine learning and AI as part of the smart building technology. They are making uh, a lot of the job that typically take a lot of manual hours uh, much simple and much cheaper. So when I think about this problem, the first word that jumps into my mind is constraints. We really have two levels of constraints when we have a existing building. One is the physical constraints. We have the existing building envelope, we have the existing layout, we have existing equipment that make in implementing new technologies much more difficult and sometimes it's not possible. You might have a structure uh, constraints that's just not allowing you to put heavier equipment on the top. But another level of constraints is the human constraints and that includes both the occupant constraints. Sometimes the occupants just would not accept certain new technologies.